Hey everyone out there in YouTube world, uh, this is Sal, for those of you who don't know me. Um, so today I'm going to do kind of a little bit of a different video than I normally post on my channel. Um, usually my stuff is a lot about Broadway and, you know, stuff like that. But um, I, I felt the kind of need to talk about this because it's um, something that I find personal to me. Uh, okay, and I know this is going to sound silly, but at least I think I can back my feelings up. So I've, I've been a huge fan of the singer Celine Dion for about three years now. Um, I, she was, I never really used to listen to pop music, and she's the one who kind of, I listened to her album A New Day Has Come for the first time, and I believe this was in 2012 or 2013. And there's a long story as to how that all worked out, but we won't get into that now. And I used to think that pop music was something that was very shallow in, in, not very well thought out and you know and a lot of that today is but when I listened to Celine I I was immediately blown away by by the power of her voice and the emotion that she puts behind her songs and it, it I just instantly became a fan and there's a there's just so many reasons why she's such a talented performer and so when I began, you know, because when you become a fan, you just kind of learn everything about the person. And I learned, um, you know, about her life and how she lived and um, about her husband and Rene, who was Rene Angelil. And sadly, Rene passed away yesterday um, due to throat cancer. And... That hit me really hard, and I'll, t I'll tell you the reason why. Um, Celine is probably the nicest, most down-to-earth singer, famous singer, diva that there is in this entire world. And the one thing that I noticed right away when I learned about her was her, her relationship with Renee. And my my dad said something really um kind of ignorant about like oh yeah he's what like 30 40 years older than her and i will admit that when you first look at that okay like whoa that's interesting but you never would have really known that they that they were he was that much older than her because they were soulmates in the weirdest possible well not weird but it, i i find it interesting is that th this man cared so much for her and it, their relationship didn't start out romantically. It was, he was her manager, and he fell in love with her voice, and he knew her when she was 12, and he, I believe he was, he was in his 30s or 40s. And some people find that odd, and you know what? Because what I found out the most interesting thing was is that when Celine turned 18, she told him that she was in love with him. He, he never did, he never persuaded her or anything like that, and I think he realized that you know, I'm kind of in love with you, too. And their bond is so incredible. And the way Renee... Without Renee, there would be no Celine Dion. Renee mortgaged his house so that she could record her first album. And that was such a chance to take on an unknown 12-year-old singer who is now this mega superstar who has won five Grammy Awards. And I just, Renee to me is a very, he's a very good role model because he, <laughs> he was human and he did have problems. Like there was rumors of years for his gambling problem, but as far as I'm concerned, they're rich. And if he wants to gamble away money or do gambling, who is to stop him? And at least he's not doing something bad, honestly. He was, he, I, I'm sorry, I know I'm taking a lot of pauses, but he was just such, he was a producer, he was Celine's manager for all these years, and the one thing that I found, I just found their love so interesting. It, these days with celebrities, I don't feel that we see love in a lot of their relationships. I feel like it's very much publicity-wise, but Celine and Renee were so in love with each other that, you know, 
I, I don't think I've ever seen a couple quite like them. They, I, they, they literally were so in love and so happy. And their kids, who all turned out great. And by the way, I share um, her twins' birthdays, Nelson and Eddie. They were born on October 23rd, and that's my birthday, too. And uh, and Renee Charles. And they, they, I feel like they're just such a respectable family. And that, especially in how things are in the music business these days, that they have stayed so just, I think the word is nice and polite and dignified. They don't have to do all these crazy stunts to show that they're in love. And I saw Celine in Vegas on January 18, 2014, almost two years ago now. And I remember I heard that Renee was always in the audience. He, he always was in the audience pretty much all the time. And so I was like, oh my gosh, what if I could meet Renee? I'm like, that'd be so cool. Like, even if I didn't get to meet Celine, I would have loved to have met Renee because he's so, he's so cool. And... He wasn't there, and you know, I didn't think much of it at the time, but then that summer it was when Celine announced that she was canceling the residency for a year to take care of Renee because he was battling throat cancer again. And I was like, wow. That, and Celine, I, if you ever see this, which you never will probably, how courageous of you to do something like that. Most singers wouldn't even think of that, but when I saw that she was leaving the Vegas residency, I was like, she should, because she needs to be home. She needed to take that time. She needed to be with Renee. She needed to be with her family. She needed to. And I thank Renee for everything he did for Celine in that time, too, because she didn't really... I honestly don't believe she really, truly wants to be back in Vegas right now. I think she's enjoying it, but without Renee, she wouldn't be back there on that stage. And this woman, oh, she, I, she's incredible. For all that she does and this is how I this is what I'm thinking about, about it um, as we all know Celine sings beautiful gorgeously written love songs and her husband has just passed away and she canceled her two shows for this weekend but she is coming back at the end of February I guess my message for Celine is that I won't be there because I, I, I mean I can't afford it I'm in college I can't <laughs> but um the fans, they're there with you. We're there with you every step of the way of you getting through this. We don't, like I said, we don't know you personally. You don't know us personally, but we're there with you. We know what you're going through. And we want you to know that whatever time you need, you take it. If you don't feel like performing for a, a year or taking a little time off, don't, don't do it. But I want you to remember that Renee wants you to perform. He doesn't ever want you to give up. He knows that you've worked so hard and he wants you to continue working. And that's the one thing I loved about Renee is that he cared so much for you. And it's very sad to see Renee go because he was such an incredible, without him, the Coliseum at Caesar's Palace, when I am in love with how that theater is built, would not exist without his persuasion. Oh, that that building has become a place for every mega superstar to go, which is like Celine, Cher, Mariah, Shania. It's like he gave us so much and he's done so much for the music industry that it's honestly so sad that he's gone. And I, I, I you know, Renee, I, mean, I know that if you, if, I don't know if you people believe in, in heaven or anything like that, but I know for sure I do, and I know that he, he's looking down, and he's, I, well, I, I, like I said, I don't know exactly what he's thinking, but I know he's so proud of Celine, and I don't know how she's reacting right now, but he's there with her, and Celine will be strong again, and I'm so sorry I'm going to say this because it's so cheesy. Celine's heart will always go on for him. So, Renee, I want to thank you for everything that you've done for Celine and for the music industry and the incredible man that you were. Because this world isn't going to be... The music industry just lost a great person in it that it desperately needed. So thank you for everything that you've done. And Celine, just, you're going to have to go through this right now, but... You're going to be okay. All right. So.
think that's all I really have to say. I know you probably did not watch this 10 minute long video, but like I said, so Renee, God bless you. Rest in peace. You gave a good fight. I mean, what was it? Almost two years you fought and fought. And that is something that is so courageous. And this, I've lost a family member to cancer and cancer is just such an awful thing. And it shows that no matter how famous you are or how much money you have, you can't stop it. And it shows that he was a human being and that Celine is a human being. And this is such a rough time for us, for her, the fans. We loved him almost, well, not as much as you loved him because you like were in love with him. And, but we loved him too. And he is going to be missed and we will never forget him. We will never forget you, Renee. So thank you very much for everything that you did.